This is Prophetess Equilla, and I'm coming to you with this week's word of encouragement. I want to encourage you to set aside some personal time to really begin to press into God's presence. God has some secret things to reveal to you concerning your life. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, The secret things belong to God, but those things which reveal to us belong to us and to our children. So we need God to pour out his secrets. And one of the ways we are going to hear from God is when we pursue him to pursue his presence. Isaiah 55, 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Matthew 6, 6 says, When you pray, you should go into your private inner room and close the door and pray to your Father who cannot be seen or who is in the secret. Your Father can see what is done in secret and he will reward you. So when you set aside one-on-one -on -one time to pray and to seek God, God is going to reward you. God is going to pour out guidance. God is going to pour out instruction. God is just going to begin to reveal the hidden things. Now, Psalms 5.3 says, In the morning you will hear my voice. In the morning I will prepare a prayer and a sacrifice for you and watch and wait for you to speak to my heart. Okay, so when you set aside those times to pray and to seek God, you can expect God to speak back to you. You can expect to hear from God. So that's why I'm encouraging you. You know, you have questions. What is my purpose? You know, what, what, where am I supposed to work? Where am I supposed to start my business? Is this the time to start my business? Who am I supposed to marry? Is this the person I'm supposed to marry? A lot of questions we have in our day-to-day -day life. But we are not alone. We have God. We need to seek God, seek His presence, seek His wisdom, His guidance, His direction, and God will pour out on us. He will release those things to us as we put aside that personal time with the Lord. Let me give you a couple more scriptures just so that you have them to meditate. I want to give you Psalms 25, 14. This is coming from the expanded Bible and it says, the Lord tells his secrets to confides in or makes friends with those who respect him he tells them about, makes known to them his agreement. Um, the Amplified Bible, same scripture says, the secret of the wise counsel of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will let them know his covenant and reveal to them through his word its deep inner meaning. So the counsel of God, the wise counsel of God. How many of you could use the wise counsel of God for your life? Well, you are going to receive wise counsel as you begin, hallelujah, to have and develop that intimate relationship with God. It's, it's born, it's birthed out of your prayer time. It, it comes from spending that quality time one-on-one, -on -one, seeking God, reading His Word, meditating his word praying hallelujah and waiting and expecting to hear God speak now the word of God says his sheep know his voice and no other voice will they follow so you will begin to recognize the voice of God how God speaks to you just begin to press in begin to set aside that time undisturbed undisrupted I know sometimes it's hard um, to make that time to have that one-on-one -on -one time but 
once you do you're going to reap the benefits you're going to reap an intimate relationship with god you're going to begin to receive guidance direction wise counsel from the spirit of god so just be encouraged go back over these scriptures and i'll talk to you next week god bless you